shop truck uh, plated here and it's about to go on its uh, one of its maiden voyages. We're going to go put it to work and Okay, so we got the new shop truck uh, plated here and it's about to go on its uh, one of its maiden voyages. We're going to go put it to work and pick up a 40s gas pump. I think it's an old BA pump. We got Brian for some manual labor today. And uh, I mean, this thing is pretty much exactly how you saw it last, but it didn't need much to get plated. Um, did some brake work, a little bit of engine work. I mean, I just minor stuff, but I mean, it really smoked like a pig, but now it doesn't. So uh, we're going to hook a trailer up to this thing and send it on our trip here and hopefully she's not too bad on the highway i mean it's a light little trailer with a light little load so should all be good so we made it with the little red trailer with all my brake lights don't you worry and here we are this is where the pumps kept here i found this on my uh bike actually a few weeks ago and uh well i couldn't load it up on the harley even though i would have wanted to but luckily it's still here in front of this beautiful building with brian going up Let's go check this thing out. Very cool old building. It's got vines growing all on it. Yes, I thought this guy had two of these, but there it is. You'll see why I thought there was a second one. Missing some stuff on it, obviously, but aren't they all? What a nice piece. I think uh, I took the numbers off the last time I was here and it ended up being like uh, 41, I think. And this is, uh, I thought he had two, but this is an old frigid air bit here. I mean like heck, I could turn that into a, a gas pump if I really wanted to. But this thing's pretty nice, all complete. I mean, minus a couple of pieces of trim here and there. I'm not really looking forward to getting it out. That was the hose. Oh, it's still there. It's got the end on it. I've actually got another end and whole like whole nozzle because that other gas pump I bought came complete with a whole hose. So that's the last of my worries. Um, right now, my only worry is getting it out of here because I know these things are incredibly heavy. Well, it's actually not too bad. It's got all the guts in it too. Should clean up nice. But this building is something that interests me here too. I wonder what else is in here. I never looked last time. Very cool joint. All right, so we're gonna grab the uh, 1920s tool here. Should have brought the one with air and tires, but what can you do? This should work. Don't have to dig anything. Should ride onto those ramps pretty nice, so. Give that a shot here, Brian. Take this thing here. I'll, I'll take that. These things are prickly. You know what? I'll back the truck and trailer right up in here if I can. I'd say that's probably. Like good right there, yeah. All right, we're all loaded up here, ready to go. But uh, I'm not leaving until I get to look inside this place. I didn't even peek through a window yet, but uh, yeah. That came, that went really smooth. I'm surprised how smooth that went. I remember those things being a lot heavier. Or maybe I was just a lot weaker. I wonder what this place was. Sure, quite ugly now. Oh yeah, just full of garbage. Nothing cool. Nothing cool at all, that's unfortunate. Well, you gotta try, you never know. Maybe there would have been a nice VA sign in there or something cool. Okay, so we made it back. 
even with the one strap wonder here i'm sure we're gonna get some uh, compliments on that uh so we're gonna pull it off and just see what we're working with here i was gonna go and wash it but uh i've decided not to um we're gonna pull it out and just pull the panels off and see what we're working with and give her a good degrease in before we give it a blast so i figured i'd film pulling it off because Okay, so we got this thing unloaded here. As you can see, it was quite the task. I mean, weighs probably around 300 pounds, uh, but uh, it's nice to compare the two together here. So this one we determined is a 48, and this is a 38 that I got uh, actually from a good friend of ours. Uh, but I've known him for about 15 years, and I was trying to get it forever. Finally made a deal on it, and we got his uh, old tow truck, a 47 International, which I'll show a little clip of there in a bit. That was, came along with it. It was from the same service station from their family in the 40s. Uh, so this one here, I mean, it's, it's got, this is a nice side, um, you know, the trim's in nice shape. There's not too much dinged up here, but along the side here, I guess it was crudely moved around once in a while. And uh, this is smashed up here and along on this side, it's dinged up as well. So this is definitely the uglier side. Uh, so my plan for the two of these things is I want to do a restoration on the bad side and, you know, paint it up, redo it back to its original state, but leave the other side and just kind of preserve what it looks like naturally. Uh, but this thing, I haven't even had the panel off yet, so it's sit, sat outside for a long time. We're gonna pull it off here and see what's what it looks like. So it's still got the glass in it, which is nice, because that kept it pretty preserved. Uh, quite a bit of cobwebs in there, but it looks still a little moist and oily, which is nice, because that kind of preserves uh, anything else that's throughout it. If it's really dry and and it got open to the elements then like that one was open to the elements for a long time and uh, it shows this thing actually looks pretty good um so one day we'll give it a good degreasing and and go through it and see what's seized i know there are some co components on it right now that are seized um so right now first things first it's probably just going to use deep creep throughout the whole thing get it loosened up and uh and yeah so this one doesn't have a, a globe on it which i love the globe um some of them came with globes even on this model this one did come with a globe, but uh, apparently the kids used to shoot them off all the time uh, as target practice with their Red Ryder BB guns. But uh, this thing here, you'll see, is a similar design on the inside. This was originally green, and uh, the red and whatever of the paint that is on this thing came uh, because the, was, this is a, originally a Texaco pump. So Texaco would send them different paint cans. You know, we're doing uh, Fire Chief or Sky Chief or whatever they would change the pumps and the state service station and whatever else to kind of match that so uh but this thing on the inside here is, is a little more ancient than this this one you know as things get newer they get a little more compact so this is a little taller to uh to work with it but i've got no use in having them operational it's more so just preservation and take cool pictures but uh the plan for this one is actually to change it to a ba pump because we got the text code we got the sign uh so we're going to dedicate the back side of the shop back here because it's got white trim or a green trim sorry and white siding so the plan is texaco front and in the back we'll do ba i've got a few tanks and uh, a few signs that i could put up here but ultimately the plan is to stick the pump right there so we can uh fill this void essentially and uh, we'll probably throw some stickers on this thing too to make it look like an old VA truck take the box sides off and there you go I got a service flatbed 
Okay, I got the pump sitting where I want it now, and that's probably where it's going to stay until winter time when I got some time to take on a project like that. But uh, I pulled up the Chevy and parked it here. Going to give it a little uh, little vibe. It looks nice, the green trucks and this backdrop here. Uh, I've decided to get a nice sign made like I got for that Texaco sign in the front. Place it on there. I got a whole bunch of stuff in my containers. I throw it on the walls and kind of turn this into a nice little service station area because we got it's got potential. I got lots of stuff throughout the shop here. Uh, we got the crusty Camaro being worked on. That's the new field racer. Hopefully that thing will be uh, ripping on the track in the next couple weeks here. Well, anyways, if you guys like what you saw today, like, comment, subscribe. It's always nice to see new subscribers, and uh, it's nice to have a following to people interact with because right now no one really comments. So comment.